How was the desert yesterday? How was the... Oh, it was good. <laughs> I forgot to take a picture of it. <laughs> my, my friends were so excited about it, and they just started eating it, and then we didn't have any more. <laughs> so I wasn't able to get a picture, but it was really good, and then I gave them most of it, so they took it home. I want to know fun. about the, the, the test, uh, the test he was. About the what? About the test, about it was tasty. Oh, the I taste, don't... yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really tasty. Yeah. It was, um, it was very, very, very sweet. So you can only have just a little bit, um, because if you have too much, then you're like, oh, this is too much sugar. <laughs> so it was good. Uh, they liked it a lot. Yes, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> they were so excited. We we had our dinner, and then um, after dinner. My husband was like, "I'm tired of waiting. Let's get the dessert." So he he put all the dessert on plates and and then we we ate it. And then it was I don't know. We were just talking a lot, and I was like, "Oh, I was going to take a picture of the whole thing for everybody." But um, I think if you look at videos from my afternoon classes that day, there's um, I show the cake to <laughs> to <Yes>. Elder. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have party yesterday? It wasn't really a party. I just had some people come over for dinner. Only this, so. Okay. Yeah, just a dinner. Uh, it was two people. They came over, and um, we wanted to have dinner with them before we go on vacation. So that's why we um, we had the we just invited them over, and then I had to I had one more class to teach um, at 9 p.m. last night. So the Dutch people don't really stay up too late. They they in some countries people stay up really late at night, but here people go to bed pretty early. So. So it wasn't a big deal. So they came. They came around 5:30, and that's that's about the same, the time that Dutch people have dinner. So they came, yeah. and then we had dinner. We had dinner about six o'clock, and then they left right before I taught my last class. Yes, it was great to have time after a busy day to to prepare all the dinner and the dessert. Yeah, it's not so bad. I I um do these kinds of dinners a lot, so I know how to how to how to um cook everything like th throughout the day like um, I have a break and I'll start cooking the beans and then that can stay on the stove for a long time and then right before they come I cook the things that that cook in a few minutes so I've um I, you can say I have it down to a science <laughs> I know how to, I know the right order to do things so that I'm not cooking all day long so that's I, great I plan it out yeah so it was fun yeah, yeah it's good Basim and I are talking about this um, dessert that I made yesterday in class for cooking vocabulary. We <laughs> ate it yesterday after having dinner. It was really good. And then I gave I gave half of it to my friends because they don't know how to make it, and we're going on vacation soon anyway, so they needed to, to have it so that we don't have it in our house still. So it was good. Good morning, Ali. Uh, good morning, you you're talking about the cake? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the brownie thing I made yesterday. How was that? <laughs> good. It was tasty. Oh, oh, they were they were really into it. I, they ate it so fast I couldn't take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it uh, it was seems too good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we I we can't eat so much of it though. If you have too much of it, you get a stomach ache. So they had it and it was good. So they um, they had dinner and then we we had dessert and then Dutch people go to bed early so they left and then I did my last class last night and it was good. I see. Yeah. <laughs> so I cooked everything and then my husband cleaned up so so it's it's a good deal for me I get to do the fun part <laughs> I think. Yeah. I like cooking I don't like cleaning so my husband does that because he does not cook. Me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you clean? No, never. <laughs> so you don't do either. But I like cooking okay. sometimes, but uh, because uh, because I live alone, I don't cook anytime. Okay. Because yeah. if I want to, cook, I have to clean or yeah. dishes. So I don't cook. <laughs> yeah, I didn't cook very much when I lived alone. Not so yeah. much. Um, yeah, but when I got married. And then we moved here, and it's expensive to go out to eat here in the Netherlands. And Dutch food is not, I mean, like, you go to France, and you get this really nice food, and it's, like, really fresh, and they have this whole cooking tradition. And in the Netherlands, there is a cooking tradition, too.
but it's not very good. So you, it's a, if you go out to eat here, usually you pay too much for things that are not so good. So we don't eat out very much, so I cook a lot here. And my husband eats the leftovers and he cleans up, so it's a, it's a good deal for me. It's a win-win situation. He gets to eat and, and then I don't have to clean. <laughs> Hi, Raquel. Hi, hello. How are you? Fine, fine. I was just listening to you because for me it was funny. You said that you had dinner in the Netherlands at 5.30 and sometimes in Spain uh, when you have a big meal, this is the time you finish lunch. Okay, lunch time is a big yes. meal for you. Okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes lunch can be the big meal in America. Like, um, for example, Thanksgiving. Some people have their, their big turkey dinner around lunchtime. But uh, usually, for a lot of Americans, the big meal is dinner. Um, yeah. And we also, we also okay. eat dinner really early here, like 5.30. That's okay, how Dutch have, people. We have dinner here. If you go out with friends, you may have dinner from 10 to 11. If you yeah. go out with friends. <laughs> yeah, my husband was in um, Avila this summer, and I would call him, and he would at 10 o'clock, and he said, I'm eating dinner right now. <laughs> yeah. Really late. yeah. Yeah, much much later than, than Dutch dinner time, the general yeah. Dutch dinner time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And we also have Ruslan in our class. Hi, Ruslan. Welcome back. Hello. Uh, uh, nice to see you. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you, too. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> good, good. Welcome to class. This is your first time in my GIF class. So um, in this class, I'll be showing you guys some funny pictures, and the pictures have movement with them. Um, there's no sound, though, so it's not like a video. And you guys will describe what you see in the moving picture. So it's a good way to, to learn more vocabulary, especially verbs. There are some specific verbs that we'll be looking at today, how people are moving or how things, how animals are moving. Some have people, some have animals in them. Um, and then you'll also be able to describe people. Um, there are a lot of um, facial expressions and emotions in some of them. So you get some emotional descriptions. And then um, other things that you might look for are adverbs describing how the movement is moving. What you know, you know that somebody's moving in a certain way, but maybe you don't know the best way to describe that movement. So that's it's good for um, verbs, adverbs, adjectives. Maybe there are even some nouns that you may learn too. Actually, there are some nouns I think will be new for some of you in these gifts. So they're all funny. I try to pick funny things because if you laugh, you remember things better. And uh, we'll get started soon. Hi, Michael. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Doing very well. How are you? Good, good. Thanks. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's get my screen. My computer ran out of battery yesterday, and I ran out of. I lost all my gifts that I had gotten, but I got them back. So, we have one gift here. Let's start with Ruslan. What do you see here? Uh, I see a small baby and a cat. Uh, I think uh, that uh, uh, <laughs> that uh, baby wants to play with the cat, with the mm -hmm. cat. Uh, but uh, uh, cat, uh, but but cat, uh, uh, it seems to be uh, that a cat don't like to play. Doesn't like to baby. play. <laughs> uh, doesn't like to play with uh, this baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does not look like it's interested in playing. Yeah, in, uh, and baby uh, can't understand why um, why cat uh, try to <laughs> well, how to say cat attack try, uh, yeah why cat try to attack yeah why the cat make sure you have an article there why the cat tried to attack him ah 
Ah, okay. Uh, mm, uh, sorry, uh, can you repeat? Yes, uh, make sure you say um, the cat attacks and not cat attacks. Put put the an article in front of the word cat. Ah, uh-huh. Um, uh, baby don't understand why the cat attacks him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the baby, also baby, the baby. The baby. Yeah, doesn't uh, understand why the cat attacks him. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> it looks, <laughs> looks, yeah, it, does, it really does not look like he understands. <laughs> I just wanted to play with you. Why did you just attack me? <laughs> What are some What are some <laughs> other words we can use for the boy after the cat attacks him? Uh, surprise. <laughs> surprise? Yeah, he could be surprised. Yeah. Uh, uh, cat, cat was uh, resting. Uh, uh, you know, uh, cats uh, like to sleep a uh, uh, warm place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, then a uh, child uh, disturb uh, him, uh, disturb uh, the cat, uh, make unco unco uncomfortable, uh, and the cat is angry. I, I think. Maybe yeah. Maybe the cat is angry. <laughs> yeah. It's just taking a nap, and then this baby comes up, <laughs> starts bothering it. <laughs> Okay, so we have um, we, maybe the baby does not know why the cat attacked him. Could be surprised about this. Other words to talk about the baby's face at the end of this. Gift. I think it's about to cry. Mhm. Mm I would think so. Close. You can say about to cry or also. Um, close to tears. Okay. Yeah. Can you say that he's a toddler? Yes, I would. I would think so. A toddler is a baby. They they're not quite a baby, but they're not a child either. They they have maybe just learned how to walk. When you toddle, you walk, but you're not very good at it. So maybe two. What um. Kids that are maybe around two or three years old, we sometimes call them toddlers. They they toddle around. They're just learning how to to walk and be more independent. This is also a verb. To toddle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So usually the people that the kinds of people that toddle are these two three year old children who are not very good at walking. Also, very very old people toddle too. Just they're not so good at, at walking with they don't have a lot of control <laughs> over their bodies. So yeah, toddle but the toddler is always gonna be a child. So for example, a drunk person is uh, toddling? You could say that, yeah. Yeah, someone gets very drunk, they have trouble walking, they they toddle home. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah, the boy does look like he might cry in the next few seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else? What is the synonym for like upset? Upset. Um, upset is kind of a general. Word that you use if you're uh -huh. not feeling good. Um, so I'm um, right. as uh, uh, sorry, uh, I forget the word how to begin. So uh, so this cat like hurt him, and uh, after that. Then after that, yeah. Um, He's upset, but what is the more proper word for that? Yeah, he could be he could be upset. Um, his feelings might be hurt also. That's a, that's another more general word to talk about. You're you're not feeling good. Your feelings are hurt, especially if someone or something attacks you, like here. Um, you could say that. Um, other things. Um, 
could say maybe he also feels hurt also. He's not quite angry. There, once you um, once you get away from the word upset, then you start to get into more specific words um, involving more specific emotions. He could be very confused too, but that's a little different than upset. Um, there's a, there's a good word actually. Perturbed is a good word to describe the way that. This um, this child looks. He's um, it's like the cat has just bothered him very much. Like the cat has attacked him, and he's really does not feel good about it. Usually, you're perturbed if something unexpectedly bad happens to you. I was perturbed when I heard the bad news. That's another word you can use to describe him. He could also just you could also just say he's he's just feeling sad. Maybe he wanted to play with the cat. Didn't get what he wanted. Uh, yeah, I think uh, someone uh, in the room uh, take the photo who is maybe his uh, mom or <laughs> that <laughs> and uh, looking uh, uh, them uh, maybe uh, want some help. Maybe, maybe. Yep, yeah, somebody might be taking a video here. Looking someone uh, after the attack. <laughs> yeah, looking at someone. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, it uh, looks like uh, uh, asking uh, to him or her what uh, the cat wants from me. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? What, did, what does the cat want? Yeah. <laughs> what I did. <laughs> yeah, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Incredulous yeah. is a good word for that. You you are you don't know why something just happened. It's kind of like confused, but more a little bit stronger. Why did the cat just do this to me? I'm incredulous. Yeah, I looked maybe he's looking at some adult that is filming this. Okay, let's go to another one. Um, Raquel will get us started on this one. Maybe you recognize these people, but if you don't, that's okay. Um, I cannot see the faces very well, but uh, well, what I imagine it is, is that there are two very important businessmen or politicians. Uh huh. They are. Uh, basketball uh, team, no team, no ball match, and uh, then the local team has uh, is winning, so everybody is uh, happy, and they are doing the, the wave. This yes, the wave. <laughs> good. Doing the wave. They are doing the wave. Uh -huh. So these two very important men are looking at them. Uh, saying they are crazy or feeling uncomfortable, <laughs> but uh, one of them does not react. The other is trying to follow the people, to follow people, and makes a very small way. Very like uh, <laughs> pretending to be in. Yeah, he's also late. See, you see, when you do the wave, you're supposed oh. to all stand up in a row, you know, one person after another to mm. do this, and you see. The guy in the suit is late. The people on the other side of him already did the wave. Yes. <laughs> because he, I think he's like, uh, he thinks he's in another planet. He thinks that uh, he, this is so strange and he feels so out of the place that uh, it takes, he needs time to react. Yeah, you can say he feels out of place. He feels out of place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the guy in the blue shirt, his yeah. name is Bill O'Reilly. He has um, a talk show about politics on the radio. And then the guy in the suit is Donald Trump. Ah, okay, because I cannot... It's pizza. Is it pizza? Well, you cannot see the, the face because the quality is not good. Yeah, and I had to make it big, too. 
if I make it smaller, you might be able to see, but it's then it's too small, you know. Yeah. It's but still the, too yeah. But uh, do you say to be too self? Because we say this in fancy. To say what? Pixel. I wrote it in the chat. Oh, um, pixelated. Pixel ah, pixelated. Yeah, yeah. When you see just the, it's the quality is not so good, and so you can't see all the details. You just see the the pixels, which are the, just the the little pieces of color that make up the picture, on a computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, they might feel very out of place. I'm um, not sure what kind of sporting event this is. Um, it could be a basketball game. When you talk about basketball, um, mm -hmm. we'll use the word game instead of match. Okay. Um, usually, <clears throat> when you're talking about sports that are not soccer or boxing, um, we call them just a game. Mm -hmm. so a baseball game, a basketball game, football game. I'm not sure which um, what kind of game this is. The way that the seats are, I would if I had to guess, I might guess baseball. Oh. Also, the girl, the girl that's two seats down from Bill O'Reilly has a New York Yankees cap, and that's a baseball team. Oh, okay. So I think this is probably a baseball game. I think baseball is super boring to watch, but I also don't play baseball. Um, so I would probably be like Bill O'Reilly. I'd probably just be like, okay, I don't care about this. <laughs> what are some uh, words to describe Bill O'Reilly, the guy in the blue shirt? Um, like, oh, go ahead. It's fun to see that uh, O'Reilly... Um, uh, held up his finger. Yeah. <laughs> That's so. all the effort he'll put into that. <laughs> I won't move my arms, I'm just going to move my finger. <laughs> That's as far as he'll go. <laughs> uh, there is a y yellow shirt man. <laughs> a man he, in a yellow shirt? Yeah, he preparing to, to take a photo <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't notice that. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think he could he couldn't take <laughs> because of the wave. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> maybe he wanted a picture of Donald Trump. Or maybe he uh, he uh, records uh, some video and <laughs> he uh, put. On internet, on YouTube, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe we get, maybe you get a view from behind of this wave attempt. Yeah, they're very unenthusiastic. They're not excited. No, they don't look like they care. Everyone around them seems pretty enthusiastic. Some are more enthusiastic than others, but. They are definitely just, okay, I guess I'll do this. Fine, I'll do the wave, kind of. Mm -hmm. I'll just be late, or I'll put my finger in the air instead. <laughs> <laughs> but they are old, so for them it takes a little time to catch up. Right? Maybe. <laughs> if they are like more than 60 years old, so they I need uh, like uh, two or three seconds to understand. Yeah, they need more reaction time. <laughs> And, right. and they are, how do you call the place where they are sitting down? Um, their, their seats or the whole place? The whole place. A stadium? No, they, 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 the, the grandstands, you call, you call it grandstands? I mean, the seats, it's one seat, but all together, do they make the grandstands, something like that? It could be the stands. Stands? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can say they're in the crowd. Crowd is a word we use a lot with sports. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and then they're they are in their seats. You can say that they're 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 in a row of seats. In in this row, they're doing the wave. Down the row, you can say. If you say something goes down the row, that means one person goes and the person next to them goes. Like sometimes in this class, I ask people questions down the row as I see their pictures in the hangout. So you could say the, the wave goes down the row. And the, yeah, you can say it's it's a row of seats also. 
And then also another way you can describe where people sit in a stadium, like maybe you want to find your friend and they're in a certain place, you can say they're in a, in a section of seats. Like sometimes in stadiums they have section A, section B, row one, that's a way to find people. So big, big groups of seats there too. And then the, the whole building we, we would call a stadium. And the, um, um, but the, the place where they play would be the field or an arena too. But the entire building here, we can say they're, they're in a baseball. They're in, they're sitting in a row of seats in the crowd at a baseball game in a stadium. Okay, yeah. Donald Trump's hair is very big in this one. His hair looks different in every picture I see of him. Let's go to another one. And uh, Michael will get us started on this one. Oh, that's too big. <laughs> so it's a computer uh -huh. with a, is a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM? Yeah, CD or DVD drive where yeah, you put CD the CD. Mm -hmm. The drive and the, it's opening. And it's implying that this is a face, like <laughs> and the the CD DVD like uh, deck or what is that? Uh, this? I think that is part of a computer tower. No, 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 no. This uh, that is coming out from the computer. Exactly. Oh, I think it's the drive, but I'm not sure. So it's implying that uh, it's a uh, it's tongue of this computer. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has eyes. Yeah. Eye, eye. Eyes. Eyes. Two eyes. Eyes to eyes. And there is like a man <laughs> with uh, big eyes. Not real eyes, of course. Googly uh, eyes. What? Googly eyes. Those are those, those fake eyes that you put on things. Then they're big, googly eyes. Mm -hmm. But why googly? Um, don't, don't think like Google, but like just <laughs> if something's googly, it's uh, usually we talk about that with eyes. Um, it just it means very very big, kind of cartoonish. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he shows his tongue as well as computer. He sticks out his tongue. Yeah, he sticks out his tongue. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's he's um you can say he's imitating the computer or he's also mimicking he's acting like the computer. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, those are, yeah, those things are googly eyes. You can put googly eyes on all kinds of things. So the computer has some googly eyes on it. He put on googly eyes too. <laughs> I like it. It's very silly. He is a creative person. Maybe. <laughs> very creative. <laughs> Maybe uh, bored. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. He has a lot of extra time on his hands. Uh, find uh, a game uh, for himself. <laughs> like yeah, you can say he's entertaining himself. <laughs> because he has a lot of time on his hands. Yeah, probably probably just very bored. Maybe this guy makes funny gifts for a living, I don't know. What funny thing can I do? Uh, some uh, sometimes uh, system administrators or uh, uh, who works with computer technology technologies uh, uh, like to inter like to entertain uh, him uh, themself. themselves themselves <laughs> themselves yeah yeah <laughs> maybe he has a very boring technology job 
Maybe he should get a different job <laughs> if he's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the googly eyes. It's always everything looks funny when you put googly eyes on them. Okay, let's let's look at another one. This one's kind of freaking me out as I look at it. <laughs> okay, let's go to this next one and um with this one we'll have Basim get us started on this one. Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, guys, uh, uh, let's have Boston start this one. Uh, yes, uh, this guy I think tried to jump in the water, uh, uh, into the water. Uh -huh. But I think this is not water. This he's shocked that uh, uh, floor, or I don't know what this, but like uh, showing like water. Maybe some, maybe this water. Uh, I think uh, I don't know. <laughs> For what if it is water, but he can't jump into it? What what kind of water would that be? Uh, ice. Okay. What ice? ice? Yes. yes. This was water, and now ice. Mhm. Mm you can say that, or it's um it's a frozen pool. Looks like maybe he's in his backyard or something. They have a swimming pool, but it's frozen. Might be it's maybe it's uh, winter, but I, th I don't know if it's winter because if you uh, see around the uh, swimming pool, it's not nothing uh, ice or they have green uh, some uh, green uh, plant or I don't think this winter. Okay, okay, that's true. Maybe the plants show that it's not winter. Yes. Some plants can be green all year though, but I'm not sure what kind these are. Yeah, um, there's a word that we use for when you jump, you try, here usually it's when you jump into li liquid, like a swimming pool. He's not diving. When you dive, you jump head first into a pool or a lake or something, um, but he's making his body in kind of small. Does anybody know the, the verb for that? Um. Can you repeat, Andrea? No. Uh, it's a we we say that you um you cannonball, you make your body into a ball when you jump into a a pool. So, it's a uh, one word. Bomb. Cannonball. Cannonball. Ah. So you make yeah you make your body into a ball when you jump into water. And then another way you can enter water is diving, and that's when you, you enter head first. Your head goes first. But here you just make your body into a ball before you hit the water. It seems to be that he uh, tried to break the ice, or how to say? Yeah, maybe. Maybe break the ice or break through the ice. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Um. Maybe he thought that uh, uh, they are um, uh, they are very um, thin uh, ice. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm he thought the ice was very thin. Ah. That's still kind of a stupid idea because it's be really <laughs> cold. <laughs> you can get really sick from being in very very cold water like that. Uh. Maybe he want to do a show. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Sometimes, sometimes it looks like they have they're like have a real accident, or, or sometimes it looks like maybe they're just trying to make a funny video. Yeah. It's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, I think I, think, I agree with you. I think this is planned. Mm -hmm. Planned. Planned, yeah. planned or staged also. Staged. Yeah. Uh huh. But uh, it's uh, really healthy to like to in uh, some cold water. Oh yeah. Yeah, what he da is doing to what you do in the water? You when you swim or what? Yeah, swim. 
I mean, to go in the cold water, basically. We and, call uh, that, uh, well, we have something like that in America. I'm not sure if, if, you, if you have the same thing in Russia, but um, we call it a polar bear swim. Mm -hmm. you don't, you're not in the water very long, but you get up really early, like 5 o'clock in the morning, and you go, it's usually, uh, usually the, the places that I've seen this is in the north part of the United States. Um, I was in Michigan for a summer at a camp, working at a camp, an arts camp, and they had this polar bear swim. I didn't do it because I'm from Texas and I like to be warm, <laughs> but people would, um, they'd get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and they'd go to the lake, and Michigan's very far north, so it's cold all the time, and they would get in this very cold lake. It's maybe like 6 degrees Celsius, and they, they get in and they, they're in there for maybe 2 minutes, and then they get out, and that's how they wake up. Like, it improves their circulation. Is that what you're talking about? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, it's, I uh, believe, like, uh, you are healthy after that, more healthy if you practice this every day, not every day, maybe once a week or once a month, let's mm -hmm. say. It depends on your, like, how you, you not all people can to do that. And uh, you're, like, um, will, you will live longer. Yeah. Increase your longevity. Yeah, your lifespan. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. Speaking about, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, watch it on TV uh, in uh, Russia. Uh, uh, mothers uh, or parents, we can say, uh, 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 throw the, uh, their babies. Uh, baby, it's just a, a new birth. Uh, maybe uh, one month, two months. Uh, throw the uh, pools, uh, uh, pools with eyes. <laughs> For their babies? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh, they think it's healthy uh, for uh, babies uh, in uh, their future life because uh, it's uh, 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 will to be for them. Uh, and nature protective, how to say? Um, Pro maybe protect they have, from uh, illness. Uh, oh, they have a better immune system or better immunity. Yeah, immunity system. Are you sure uh, they throw them there or maybe they hold in the water? <laughs> they <laughs> put and hold with hands or they throw? How no, can no. you throw a one year baby no. to uh, go down? <laughs> <laughs> they just they just throw the baby <laughs> and the baby uh, 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 down the water and uh, uh, go up the water. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, when you're doing when you're saying throw, do they take the baby and do they throw them into the water or do they hold the baby and they dip them in the water? No, no, throw the water. <laughs> They throw and, the baby in the water. Yeah, it, it was interesting. <laughs> okay. It was very interesting uh, because okay. that uh, it's it, uh, uh, stay in my mind. Okay. So was it like a big pool of water then? Uh, I don't know. Uh, around uh, <laughs> around is uh, snow, uh, uh, not uh, so big. Uh, uh, a little lake, we can say. Like a pond, not not a not a big lake, but it's still na it's in nature. Uh, I think uh, it's nature. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, not so big. It's like a pool. Uh, okay. Yeah, but it it was nature, I think. Okay, I think you're talking about a pond, then P O N D. Maybe I don't know the uh, uh, name of uh, English uh, with English. Okay, it's um, it's kind of like a lake, but it's small, and yeah. it's found in nature. Yeah. But uh, it was a uh, very cold uh, weather, <laughs> maybe uh, 15 or 20 minus degree. <laughs> Negative 15 or 20. Yeah. Uh, wow. People uh, did something else. <laughs> Maybe it's good for the baby. <laughs> I <don't> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't do those things because I don't like being cold. I'm kind of a wimp. I'm not very... 
I don't have very much of a tolerance for cold. It's better now because I don't live in Texas anymore, but yeah, I don't like cold, so I don't do those kinds of things. But yeah, people, people especially in the northern part of the United States, love doing these polar bear swims. Wake up super early, dip, dip in the, the lake with very cold water. I didn't like it. I thought it was silly. I was like, you guys are weird. So I never did it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it sometime in my life, but I was, I was not motivated to do that when I was living in Michigan. Not living there, but I was staying there. Yeah, polar bear swim. Okay, let's do another one. And uh, we'll have Basim start us on this one. Oh, no, um, Ali's turn. Ali, start us on this one. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, he, he is a thief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wants to uh, uh, something from, uh, from the uh, seller. Uh, we, we can say seller. Um. Or uh, 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 shop owner. Yeah, shop owner's good. Or um, cashier. They're behind the counter, and they're this. Uh, this looks like um, to me what they call a. Oops. Uh, it's a convenience store um, at a gas station, maybe in a, in America. Is what that looks like to me. Yeah. Uh, so you'd have a cashier. Yeah, he wants to take something uh, 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 from there, <laughs> and uh, uh, the owner uh, take uh, the chair uh, to sit uh, him, <laughs> and <laughs> his uh, hat uh, uh, jumps or uh, falls off. Falls off. <laughs> off. <laughs> 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 Uh, he take uh, the hat back uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, try again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah, you can say he. This thief is trying to rob the store. Maybe he wants the um, the cashier to open the cash register and give him all the money. Yeah, I think uh, he wants to take the uh, money. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's uh, not uh, so close money, and uh, trying to up uh, the table or to climb over the counter. Yeah, uh, it try to over the counter, but <laughs> owner uh, don't. Uh, doesn't. Owner doesn't. Uh, 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 do. He makes this. The owner doesn't let him climb over the yeah, counter. You can say that. Him, doesn't let him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He stops him with the <laughs> chair. <laughs> <clears throat> it's pretty smart. <laughs> it's yeah. Good thinking. Maybe it, this happened before, and he it, just knows it, to it use the just, chair. It's uh, just a, a teenage. Unexperienced, unexperienced person. Maybe. <laughs> and uh, uh, nothing on hand, uh, uh, something knife or gun or uh, uh, stick. How, he's holding something, but I can't tell what it is. Yeah. It looks like a knife to me. Uh, I can see. Maybe it can be knife. Uh, yeah. It's not clear to see. But that would explain why he's trying to get closer to the cashier. If you have a gun, you don't have to be so close to <laughs> hurt them, but if you have a knife, you have to get close to the person, so maybe that's why. Yeah. <laughs> this kind of chair that he has, we call that a folding chair. You can, you can make it flat. It's easy to store it. Yeah, folding to you. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> yeah, could some kind of convenience store robbery prevented by a folding uh, by a folding chair. 
Yeah. Yep. Andre, do you have many cases? Um, so, have you ever had uh, of many cases in the United States about uh, like uh, robbery with uh, shooting? I mean, uh, the same case as this, only with a gun. Armed robbery. And, uh, yeah, armed robbery, and then that armed robbery to die either the cashier or uh, the robber. Hmm. Oh, okay, for someone to get killed during the yeah, robbery? Yeah, because uh, this first, for example, uh, holding uh, a uh, gun, and uh, he start to, like, to threat uh, the cashier, and cashier, threaten. for example, threaten cashier, and cashier uh, um, has the same gun, and he... Um, take the gun and they start like to shoot and who shoot first hmm. that win yeah they have some kind of a duel um, I don't know the statistics and it also depends on what um, part of the US you're in there are some neighborhoods where that never happens there are other neighborhoods where it's normal um, in Houston there's a very bad part of town close to where I went to school and um, there was a, it wasn't a convenience store, it was a little bigger, a grocery store, where every month or so I would hear about people shooting each other there. It was a terrible neighborhood. Um, but then there are other parts, like the part of town where my parents live in Houston, that never happens. So it depends. I'm not sure about the whole country, like on average, how, how often that happens. In movies, you can see often, like um, like in these blockbusters, uh, American. So you can see like a mm -hmm. stay um, an episode, uh, like a part of the movie, like two five minutes about this kind of thing, like where mm -hmm. uh, it it happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, de it really does depend on what part of town, what town it is, and what neighborhood in that town. The how also the poverty level of that town will also affect it. If people, if there's a very high poverty rate, then maybe people are more motivated to to rob a bank like that. If um, the area is a little bit nicer, then maybe people don't feel like they have to rob a place to get money. So it depends. It's a big country with a lot of diversity, a lot of different kinds of places there. But yeah, it is depicted in the media, in movies and TV a lot. You see that. It's, it's mm -hmm. exciting, it's dramatic. People want to see that kind of stuff. Makes a good story. All right. No, it's weird, like, uh, to, to go in a store with a gun and to start to threaten, to take money. Mm -hmm. no, it doesn't look smart. Like, no, it's not. You should do something, uh, either to come, like, in the night, uh, when uh, no one is there, and to... Smart and not like it's too dangerous for him. Yeah. Also, this is this has all been captured on the security camera. There's a usually stores like this have a camera so that you can see the cash register. So they, they capture all of it on film. So it's really stupid to try to do that, especially since this guy he wears a hat and his hat falls off. So you can see they can identify him. <laughs> I'm gonna do a class with. Funny criminal stories, because there are a lot of stories about really stupid people that try to rob <laughs> places and they mess up. That's what we'll do. I think he, he needs a mask, not hat. Yeah, yeah, usually they wear a mask or something. <laughs> There's a funny story where a, a guy put whipped cream all over his face, like a mask, and it, it melted off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so usually, I think sometimes if you if you have the idea, I'm going to rob this store, and you're so desperate, sometimes you don't think it through. <laughs> or maybe you don't have a job, so you're not very smart. And, yeah. yeah, usually people who like want to like uh, to rob to rob a bank, or they are not uh, so smart. I mean, in this way. Yeah, if you just walk in and you're just like, give me the money. And you have to be, especially with like banks, because banks are very secure, you have to be really crafty and make a plan to be successful. But most people don't have a very good plan. Yep, Conven this, is a, this is a convenience store, so just... They probably don't have very much money in the cash register. Um, when I have worked jobs where I've been on a cash register, they try not to keep very much money in it because of this. So he probably would, if he, if he were to succeed, he probably would not get very much money anyway. 
So, not not such a good plan on this guy's part. Poor planning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do um, one or two more. Let's have. Um, let's go back to Ruslan. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I see a dog, <laughs> uh, which um, I see a dog uh, who sat on the special um, place. Uh, it's like um, uh, it's like a, a child seat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, the dog uh, said to the child, "Sit." Uh, he looks like a baby, <laughs> and um, his owner uh, gave him some food. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but I I see that uh, this. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, this plate is empty or n or not? It's hard to tell. It probably has something in it. Maybe you just can't uh. see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny because uh, I think uh, this dog uh, is uh, smart, <laughs> uh, or maybe uh, his owner. Um, um, uh, maybe the owner um, trained very well this dog. Yeah, the the don't the owner trained the dog very well. Ah. Or you can say it's a well trained dog also, or a highly trained dog. Ah, well trained dog, highly mm -hmm. trained dog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they have some kind of routine, it looks like. It's time to eat. Okay, now you need to go into your <laughs> your chair. I don't know. I actually don't know what the name of this thing is. It's some kind of invention that maybe this person made. But it looks like a table or a dining table. Dining table. Yeah. <laughs> in the dog, it also kind of looks like a baby. Um, babies sit in a thing called a high chair. It's just a, a chair that's tall. And they can they can eat at a table that way, so it looks a little bit like that too. You can say that the dog, this thing that the dog is in, allows the dog to sit up, so the dog can sit up. Or the dog, the dog can sit upright. Also, you can say up or upright there. Or the dog can sit on its hind legs, its back legs. Those are all things you can say talking about the dog. I like this. My dogs never did this when I had dogs. <laughs> I think they would they would not be so patient. <laughs> they would they would not I want to sit up. I think this dog is more intelligent than the rover of the previous gift. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very smart dog. Not sure what kind of dog this is. It's I, it looks a little bit like a German Shepherd, but the ears are not right. So it, maybe it's a mix, or a mutt, a mix, a mix of different breeds of dogs. But uh, how is uh, when it doesn't have like breed? A mix. Uh, you can say it's a mixed breed, or it's a mutt. A mutt is more informal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And sometimes people say that they're mutts, like ethnically. For me, I have um, I have a variety of different backgrounds, um, ethnic backgrounds. So you can I can say I'm a mutt, and that's just kind of a joke. You know, it's like, I mean, of course I'm not a dog, but I have I have a mixture of of um, ethnic backgrounds. So people can describe themselves that way too, very informally. But when you tell to someone else, it uh, looks like offensive to tell. 
Yeah, you don't call someone else a mutt. It's usually <laughs> just something to make a joke about yourself. But yeah, yeah, yeah don't call another person a mutt. <laughs> Unless it's like your best friend and they know it's okay. <laughs> and this dog is trained to do that. It's very... Yeah, yeah. Smarter than a child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get a child to sit and eat dinner, so yeah. Uh, mostly child uh, can't uh, 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 eating some, something with uh, their child. <laughs> <laughs> but dog can do it. <laughs> I, I suppose that uh, this dog really likes uh, his... Uh, Chair. <laughs> yeah, it looks very happy. Yeah. I suppose he did not eat uh, like three days, and uh, <laughs> was trained uh, because of that. He's so enthusiastic to eat. If you're gonna eat, you have to sit in the chair. Yeah, and he trained like this man. He trained he, like you sit, uh, do this, do this. After that, I give you food. No food. <laughs> And you know, uh, when he shows to him, he gives uh, like a little uh, piece of meat, like to appraise him. To yeah, to praise him. To praise him. Or as a reward. Yeah, as a reward that he does uh, correct, like this. Mm -hmm. uh, a reward as, for doing the correct thing. It, it takes like I don't know, uh, not mind, but uh, some kind of uh, I don't know what it takes to do something like that. For a dog, I mean, for a dog to do something like that, it takes uh, not mind, but uh, physical rewards or. Um, no, 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 I mean, uh, it's smart dog to do something like that. Uh, you need to be smart, kind of smart, but not smart. Dogs can be smart. You can say that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it takes mind. Yeah, uh, you can say it's um, it's um. Something they develop mentally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. A smart dog. They, you can say that it also. Um, oh, you can say that a dog can learn tricks too. Maybe this is a just a, a funny thing that they taught the dog how to do. Mm. We also have a saying about dogs learning things. You can say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And we talk about that um, in terms of um, older people. About people, learn, yeah. yeah. learning new skills. Like once you once you're a certain age, or once you've been working somewhere a certain amount of time, you can't learn new skills as easily. You do not perceive the new information so good. Yeah, yeah. You don't. Um, yeah, you receive. don't take new. Yeah, receive new information or um, or develop new skills. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, but this dog does know new tricks. <laughs> Get some food for doing that too, so that's good. Maybe the other is a dog trainer? 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 Yeah, a trainer, dog trainer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it can be a trainer, and then um, sometimes if somebody is is their whole job is to to work with dogs in training them or helping them you can say it's a dog handler usually that's that word is used in dog shows where they the breeds compete against each other they have handlers too but this maybe is the owner of the dog because it's at they're at home they have a routine it's time to eat dinner yeah. <laughs> probably Okay, good. So, yeah, I don't know the name of the thing that he's in, but it's some kind of invention that allows the dog to sit up to eat. <laughs> okay, good job, guys. Um, I'm going to start my next class. I'm doing a, another speaking class, but we'll be talking about motivation, all, all kinds of things about motivation. So I hope to see you guys in that one. Um, if not, have a good day, and maybe I'll see you later. Bye-bye, Andrea. Bye, guys. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.